welcome back to the Aerial Yoga Challenge of 21 Days. We are on day 19, we're coming right down to it now. And everything you'll notice in this ending part, towards the end, we're getting inside our hammock. So we're gonna go right back inside, grab the edge, fan it out, to get us into inverted plow pose. So inverted plow pose in yoga class is an inversion. Um, it can be known as shoulder stand perhaps. We're gonna add a little slight variation to it, okay? I also call this class, uh, this pose, excuse me, inverted plank. And in circus, aerial circus, it's known as vampire. So you can call it a variety of things. Um, I used to call it vampire, and then I started to change it over to inverted plank or inverted plow pose. So whatever makes more sense for you. So grab the edge, we fan it out to make sure there's no wrinkles in the fabric. It's not folded over. Coming underneath our rigging point, we'll press down and get our hips inside. Swim the arms around and behind. Hold the edges, leaning back, bring the hips in, bring the heels to your hips, and grab the edges and lengthen. So this pose, we want to walk the feet down, we don't want them hanging out. We want to grab the edges and walk our feet down so that we have a blanket of silk covering our legs. We want to aim for covering, if you look down the center, to about knee height or higher. All right, so you want a little overlapping of silk that you could pull through here. Then get a nice covering on your shoulders. Once you have that covering on your shoulders, keep it there. Hold on, gripping thumbs up, knuckles out on the edges of the silk, and don't let go. This is very important. You are going face first towards the floor, so you have to make sure your shoulders are covered, your feet have a blanket, and your hands are gripping. If you've never done inverted plank, plow, vampire pose before, I really recommend, I highly recommend, you have a train instructor with you on site and a mat beneath you for your first few times doing this until you're more comfortable and familiar with this pose. This one can be dangerous, okay? So this one comes with a bigger highlight of a disclaimer. Hold the edges, good firm grip and you're not letting go. The feet come overhead, nice and straight, so try not to bend your knees. Okay, and you have this blanket of fabric. You're gonna bring it up over your head. That's your core. Press your feet into the silk. Your head and chest and belly drop down. Breathe here. Don't let go. And then to come out, you're just gonna lift your hips back up to reverse the movement, dropping your legs and hips back into the fabric. And take a moment. So we'll do that one more time. I have a blanket of silk. My knees are higher. My shoulders are covered. I'll grab the edges and slowly bring the legs up and overhead, inverting myself. And I can reverse by lifting my hips, or I can take a foot to the mat, sliding it out carefully, roll the fabric off your shoulders very slow, and then start to lift your head up. So from here, holding on still, notice I've never let go. You can bend into your standing leg and find a nice stretch here. Looks kind of cool too. And then stand up, bend the elbows in, bend your back knee, point the toe, and then you can take one hand off the fabric to slide the foot out and come to standing. So that's a really fun one. Again, this is inverted plank or inverted plow, also known commonly as vampire in the aerial circus world. But whatever you call it, just make sure that if you haven't done this one before, you are definitely doing it with a live instructor who is trained, who is very familiar with this pose. All right, thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. We just have a few more days left for this aerial yoga pose challenge. Please let me know where you're at. Catch up if you fell behind, no worries. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. I'm so excited to announce the release of the Aerial Silk Curriculum Journal. This has over 100 pages inside where you can write down and record all your silk skills and sequences that you learn in the studio or on commafittv.com. Inside, you'll find that there's a table of contents that will guide you through this, but every single knot or lock that you can create in the fabric is outlined for you, and then there are plenty of spaces for lines for you to record any of the skills that you learn in your studio, no matter what your instructor calls them. At the very end, too, I'm really excited about adding in, there's conditioning and warm-up drills, so it gives you guided pictures, imagery, and text that tells you how to properly warm up, and then conditioning drills you can do at your studio and then workouts you can do at home or at the gym in addition to what you're already doing at the studio to up your aerial gain. Also at the end there's a whole section on nutritional guidance and this nutritional guidance will be there for you as an aerial athlete who's looking to supplement your workouts and get the best out of your workouts. So all of this is for you. It's $14.99 right now on our site. 
and all you have to do is pay shipping and handling or you can pick up in the studio. Please check this out. There's sample pages you can look at on our website. Take a look. I'm so excited to show it to you. And thank you so much for everything.